Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle and in this video I want to show you my loadout for full DPS on Stealth Commando and those will be actually two loadouts for a solo play and for a team play. I will focus first on a team play loadout because I play more on a team than a solo and then I will show you the slight difference if you want to go totally solo without any team. But first we'll jump into quick showcase how this build works versus a boss, a proper boss, like Wendigo Colossus. Then that will be first and let's let's do it. And as you can see, I bring my main with me uh, to simulate a team fight, although I will not be doing anything. He will be just standing there. As you can see, uh, those buffs will be using. I have a bunch of long lasting buffs already there. I will drop my health because I want Revenant buff to be triggered and I will suicide myself. I will revive myself with my main and then I will move my main just on the middle to hopefully distract the Colossus and he will be doing absolutely nothing apart from that. Then let's see how this will work. I hope I will not mess up anything as I have this tendency. That's why I'm not really doing any speedruns. And this is not a speedrun either. I always mess up something. Now I, I'm controlling my main, that's why I'm not moving here. Just a quick explanation. I'm moving him just in front of the Wendigo Colossus and hopefully it will work. That is at least the plan uh, to showcase you this build. And now let's drop my half, get on position and really see how much damage much I can do with this build and there we go we have some Wendigos and the Colossus and look at health yes I think it's look at look at his health he's totally melting and run out of AP I forgot to I forgot to use my canned coffee yeah that's why I'm not doing speedruns and now I've detected some random Wendigo behind me okay but look at that i should probably stop shooting when he was regenerating but anyway look at that the melting ability is insane his fast regen and almost so much more health drop and we just started the fight like you can kill him so fast and it's it's on the team therefore i'm not getting my uh, sneak attacks as i would get solo but it's compensated by the fact that my main have taken one for the team then damage solo will be probably the same as i have here when on a team but there's one thing i didn't didn't took into consideration those wendigos are spawning like crazy i cannot so you can see i cannot control the population uh oh i think he see me or he does it or he see me i i'm down okay can i revive myself with my main i'm trying Oh wow, there's like 120 because I don't know if you can see, but I can see on second monitor. I cannot revive. They, they don't let me get in here. I need to revive my commando. Oh, come on. Let me revive my commando. Move away one thing. I'm trying to revive here. I did it. I did it. I revive, run now. Let's take a commander out of this situation. It's way too many Wendigo. That's, that's one thing I didn't take into consideration. Bringing my main that will be doing nothing cause Wendigo to spawn like twice as, as much. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. That I didn't took into consideration. Look at that, that's Wendigo innovation. But let's focus on the Colossus and he should be, he sh he's dead. Yes, he's dead. He's dead, we we'll kill him in like two minutes then. I think with this mess up two minutes is like a good time. Anyway, what do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Look at those, the, the sea of Wendigos, like ocean of Wendigos in here next to my main. Look at that, like, that's insane. That's a real insanity, okay. This one aspect I didn't took into consideration, but I think it's good enough to showcase how good the full damage commando is when you need to deal with with the boss and i started with like 600 ammo then i didn't spend even 500 to kill wendigo and bunch of small wendigos i mean colossus and bunch of small those are my buffs so you can see some liquid core each other alcohols adrenaline still running some bubble head uh, 50% damage from the Revenant perk is still up. I took Empath Serum to die a little bit less, hopefully. And yeah, all the buffs, as you can see, that's quite a long list, but I'm not even sure if I took all the possible. I took all the best buffs that I had on me, then whatever was available in my inventory, I took it. Then that was, that was basically the plan, take everything in inventory.
Now about the build and special distribution, as you can see, it's mostly perception, endurance, agility, luck. As you can see, agility, I have 13, what's meant because I have five of legendary specials. Therefore, agility is going overboard a little bit. Those three points can be used anywhere else, but as I focused to maximize the damage and combat ability, then I decided, yeah, extra agility will still give me a little bit of sneak and a little bit more of max AP, then why not? As there was nothing else really necessary in here. Now, about the perks. First, legendary perks are already maxed out on my stealth commando, then you can see I have five different specials and follow through. Follow through is the most important here. If you are starting a new build, then you will slowly max out special, but follow through is the most important. One of the special can be actually swapped, like for example, perception, the last one. If you don't want it, it's not necessary. This build can work without this perception, you will just don't have this extra points under agility and you will need to remove a little bit from strength, but yeah, it's it's like a bonus at this moment, but there's really no legendary perk that will increase your combat ability, therefore I, I decided to go with all special. Now, perks themselves, as I have those spare points, then I put them into strength to have traveling pharmacy and bandolier, and now the important ones. Under perception, full into damage, all the commando tank killer perks and concentrated fire max out for a little bit of extra damage. This is not really much, but we're going for full damage, then it's in here. I didn't use ground pounder, reason for that is that I'm using quad fixer, therefore ground pounder is less important. Under endurance we have a lot of survivability and other stuff, because we can, with so much special we can, therefore we have extra HP to prevent us from dying too often, we have chemfen to increase duration of our buffs, then we have fireproof to get less damage from explosions, radical for extra strength, revenant, this is for damage, this is the important one, and rejuvenated, because yeah, why not? There was room. Uh, under charisma we have party gear for sweet water special blend, extra perception, strange in numbers to boost our mutations, tenderizer to again boost our damage, under intelligence because we already have a lot of HP, we have first aid, basically all this HP, first aid and bone survival is all we need to survive pretty well, uh, apart from that we have nerd rage of course, more damage. And under agility I have covered operative. Uh, Born Survivor, Escape Artist, Ganfu, max out in here to get extra damage as it looks like Ganfu is multiplicative with other bonuses, then it's quite significant if you go for max out damage. Adrenaline max out and Sneak rank 2. Uh, if this will be a knight, Sneak will be swapped for Mr. Sandman, but we have day now, then Mr. Sandman will not work anyway, then there is Sneak. Under luck, better criticals max out because in case of bosses, it actually helps quite a lot. Because critical shots somehow bypass entirely damage mitigation of the boss. Not damage resistant, don't, don't make those two confused. You cannot by bypass damage resistance, but you bypass damage mitigation, this 80% damage mitigation that Colossus has. Uh, then we have class trick, less side effects from mutations, curator, Again, our buffs will last longer and there is just one spare point under luck anyway. And then star genes to keep mutations, critical savvy to have this critical shot every second hit and bloody mess for a little bit extra damage. Not necessary, actually I'm swapping it whenever I'm not fighting boss, I'm swapping it for good with salt to have my uh, food last for a little bit longer. When I'm fighting the boss, I'm swapping for bloody mess on this full damage build. Now about the gear itself. I will show you the gear and then I will show you the loadout for solo play. Then the most important for full damage is a fixer with extra VAT shots crit damage. Quad fixer with VAT critical damage. It will be perfect if it will be less AP cost on Terrestar. I was not so lucky. Therefore, yeah, this works great. And you are able to see that I went into the fight with like 600 ammo. And I still have 140 left after all this killing then. Yeah, super ammo efficient. Uh, next, under armor, I'm using a secret service just for extra resistance. It's not a perfect set, it's just unyielding. But to be honest, any unyielding set will do with this build. As long as it's unyielding, you're good. That, that's the only requirement. 
Uh, under armor that I'm using at this moment is just a Vault jumpsuit that gives extra strength, endurance, intelligence, and luck. There are better options, like for farming experience, you can use casual one for more intelligence. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's not the most important. If you will have a shielded raider, that's probably better because it will give you more agility. But that's not the most important thing. About the backpack, whatever you want. I have equipped at this moment what I have, a grocer's one, but it doesn't really matter too much. You choose whatever you need. Now, quick look on the mutations. I already showed you them before, but that's basically my standard loadout for stealth commando on a team. Then adrenaline reaction for damage, bare bones for agility, eagle eyes for extra crit damage, egghead for faster experience, empath for less damage. As long as you are on a team, the positive works on you as well. Then, yeah, then you want empath whenever you are a team player. Herbivore for extra boost with food, health mentality for extra special for free, marsupial jumping, scaly skin resistance, and it costs only a little bit of AP if you use class frequent. Yeah, that's just like 12 AP, not too much. Speed demon, faster reload, movement speed, and this is the random mutations that I got. You don't want this, but I don't want to redo the mutations. It was accidental that I got unstable isotope. Now, about a solo build, let's start from mutations. If you play solo, mostly or, or exclusively solo, you don't want empath and you don't want herd mentality. You cross those, those two out about the perks and special. It will be slightly different distribution because su surprisingly solo you will need more charisma, therefore you will not have these extra points under agility and you use them under charisma, then it will be 10. Let's even look quite more rounded now, 10s and 5s. And after that, you will not be using strength in numbers and instead you will equip here Lone Wonder. Uh, I don't have it and I will not take it because I don't play solo, but you will equip here Lone Wonder and that's basically all you need to do to change it for a solo build. You can even keep Revenant because if you have life-saving armor, you can still use Revenant solo. And use, as you were able to see during the fight to maximize the damage, I was using Liquid Courage, Ballistic Bog, I just ran out, it was Ballistic Bog here, Overdrive and Psycho Buff in this order. Plus, of course, whatever magazines, bubble heads, when you have them, you can use them. Then, yeah, that's, that's about everything about this build. Let me know what you think. How do you, do you enjoy a little bit mess up during the Colossus fight, but I think it still demonstrates well the damage possibility of this build. It's focused on damage. It's not focused on anything else. Personally, I usually use a build that have a lot of quality of life focus, experience farming and stuff like that. But this one in particular is full focus on damage. I spend points on something else only if there was no option to improve my damage after taking all damage stuff. And that will be everything for this video. Therefore, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.